All right, now we'll talk to our number one seed in the tournament from the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference, Concordia University, where the 2012 NCAA Central Region Champions now have the chance to compete for their sixth consecutive NCAA championship. The Golden Bears are now 8-2 in regional final matches and hold a 3-0 record over Nebraska Kearney in the NCAA tournament. They are the number one ranked team in the AVCA poll and will next take on Wingate University in Pensacola, Florida on December 6th at 1 p.m. Eastern. Representing Concordia St. Paul, our head coach Brady Starkey, student athlete and all, all tournament performers, senior middle blocker Cassie Haig, and senior outside hitter Ellie Duffy. We'll begin with an opening statement from Coach Starkey and then open for questions. Wow, um, what a match, you know. That, is, that was just, if, if you're a fan of volleyball and even if you're not a fan of volleyball, you have to appreciate uh, what a great match that was. Um, you know, congrats to Nebraska Kearney, Rick. Um, he has an incredible team. That has to be one of the toughest teams that we've faced all year. Um, their girls came to fight, and they did a really good job of exploiting some of the things that that uh, that they needed to do to to get some wins there. Um, I I just really I don't know. It was just an amazing match to me. So I was really proud of how hard our girls fought throughout the whole match. Um, it wasn't pretty at times, but they just kind of did everything that everything like we kind of asked them to always do, basically. Um, fight for every single point, scrap for points, and they did that tonight, and they kind of got this, they got this win because of how hard they scrapped it. You know, normally we look a lot more pretty, and, and you know, our offense is flowing smoother, but tonight it was just, you just had, we just had to find a different way to win and grind out a win, and, and they kind of did that. They did a great job of covering each other and, and not really getting too affected by the fact that they were having some huge runs and some huge success on us. Our girls stayed light and in the moment and just composed throughout the entire time. And, and they never really got down on themselves, despite that there was some moments where I think that everybody probably thought the match was in question. So um, just really proud of our girls, proud of these two, you know, to they just put everything out there, you know. It was like there's no, you know, it's just they just went for it throughout the entire match. Um, you know, his team too, I felt like, you know, I just felt like they never quit either. You know, I just felt like it was a total battle. We were just like sitting on the bench just going, okay, you know, <laughs> are we going to break them? Are we going to, you know, and we never really just quite could. And it was just finally the match was over. We're like, all right, we won. Wow, this is, this is awesome. But, uh, you know, congrats to their team too. Great, you know, great season for them. And it's just, it's just such a crazy thing to have to see a team of that quality play as many tough matches that they had to play this early in an NCAA tournament. So um, hats off to them in a great season, and we're really excited that we get to move forward. All right, now we'll open for questions. Uh, Coach, you mentioned it yourself. You know, after that first set, some people might have thought the match was in question. Uh, what was the difference coming out of that? Cardi seemed like they were in control after the first set, and then took it back in the second. Um, you know, I didn't, really feel, I didn't really feel like we had control in the second set either. So, I mean, it was. Uh, <laughs> It was just kind of trying to grind some things out and trying to get us into a rhythm. You know, they were serving us tough, and and we were struggling with that. And basically, we just said, okay, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have to find a way to earn points off of bad passes. And that's really what we said. We've got to be aggressive. If somebody else has to step in and pass, set a ball, they've got to push it up to the net so we can get up and take a rip at it at least. Um, and I thought we did a better job of that. Like we'd have some bad passes, somebody throw it up there, and Ellie where um, Ash would get up and just take a rip and we'd cover it and then get another chance to get a point. And it was just, we just had to battle for points. And, and I thought we did a great job of setting the tone for what the match was going to be like in that second game. And then in the third game and fourth game, I just felt like we kept going with that. And then we just had a couple moments where we were a little smoother. And I thought that was kind of the difference in the match. Cassie, I'll try and jog your memory. <coughs> I mean, we've been practicing in practice just the first pass as a shank and then try and play off of that. Um, just staying calm up there and being as aggressive as possible is something that we always try and do. So 
even if the point is going on super long, you got to think, I have to jump as high as I can or else I'm not going to end this rally. And you want to end the rally at that point, you're getting tired, so you have to put it all into that approach. Yeah, um, Amanda was putting the ball in a really neutral place, so I was able to see very well in which way the, the block was or where players on the court were, so just able to chop some angles off of there. Um, I think Taylor, our libero, did a really good job of staying disciplined and kind of picking some of those balls up. And then um, at the net, we were trying to stay conscious of the fact that she was going to be active and dump a lot of balls and try to be up on them. Well, I mean, that's everything at this level. You know, I mean, if you... You know, I think that you could be a really good team with a couple of very strong hitters, but if you're if you want to go to the next the next level, you have to have a balance, and you have to have because otherwise teams are just so good at slowing somebody down on any given night. If they want to slow one of our kids down, they're going to be able to. Um, they're going to be able to do that, and so we other kids have to be able to step up and terminate balls if that's what they're going to do. If they're going to take away Kayla then somebody else has got to do it and vice versa. So it's just it's just such an important factor for us. And that's just, you know, these girls know that and they know how important they are, each and every single one of them out there. And that they just go out and all they have to do is their job. They don't have to do anything extra special where I think that some of these teams that have, you know, maybe three like really strong terminating players or whatever, they feel like they have to do something extra special every night where I think that our girls go, hey, if I just go do my job, okay, Somebody else is going to fill the void for us here, and and that's kind of what we get, basically. So, forever. We try not to think of it that way, like that it's just every match you're getting an opportunity to play again and to play with your best friends and go out there and have fun. So that's kind of the mindset we try to keep is just to keep it light and enjoy it. I think that that's why we were able to be so successful tonight because, yeah, we lost the first game and sure maybe a bunch of other teams would have started freaking out like, oh no, senior year, this is my home court and they're going to beat it. Like I can confidently say that that didn't cross anyone's mind. and. Just like Ellie said, we're out there with our best friends. This is like the best time I've had probably ever. <laughs> so we're just trying to keep that going as long as we can. All right, thank you, Concordia University, and good luck in the Elite Eight. Thank you. Yeah. Whew.